because of a terraforming system that's spiraling out of control. And only I can fix it. Only I have your genetic code. It won't be long before we hit the point of no return. And then, extinction. I've been searching for months for what I need. A backup of Gaia, the AIU designed to control the system. I'm walking under a brilliant night sky, through a field of flowers. And when I arrive at the center, I see you, Elizabeth. Waiting for me, even though you've been dead for a thousand years. You're the closest person I've ever had to a mother. For a moment, I feel whole. But it never lasts. This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. I won't let it slip away. The valley below is my only remaining lead. My last hope to find the backup. I'll do whatever it takes to get it. I promise. <laughs> if it isn't Aeol, savior of Meridian, anointed of the Nora. You know I hate being called that stuff. Well, consider it a punishment for running out on us the very same night we beat Hades. I grew up an outcast, remember? I'm not much for parties. Yeah. That one was in your honor. Same. So! What are we doing? Must be urgent since you left so fast. Delving into ancient ruins? Or maybe it has something to do with the Blight. Both, actually, but, um... I should... Oh, no. I've been tracking you a long way. It's okay. 
After everything you've done to help the Nora and my family, I swore an oath to help you, no matter what. You're stuck with me now. Like bark on wood. Okay, but if you're going to come with me, you'll need to be able to see what I see. <sighs> Focus. Never thought I'd get your second sight. I'll give you another one later and show you how to back up your data. Data? Information on the device. We've got a lot to cover. Um, I'll have to explain everything as we go. like this all the time since I was a little girl come on Grapes on the way here. We should find some medicinal plants. Stock up. So it's time for your first lesson with the focus. Sounds good. Let's get started. Ugh. Bitter? I want to grab more of these plants along the way. Yeah, good idea. Those ruins. That's where we need to go. I see a few ways down. Are you gonna jump? Go for a swim? Fastest way down. Take a closer look. What are we after exactly? The backup? Well, um, it's an AI. It's, um, it's hard to explain. Think of it like a set of instructions that can fix the world. Sounds complicated. Someone took down this machine recently. Who else will come? I don't know. We better craft some arrows of our own. There might be trouble up ahead. Good thing we already picked up some Ridgewood. All right. Now to craft some arrows. Done. 
Me too. Arrows ready. Not for you. The transmission, the uh, message I found, didn't say. Only that a backup might be here. We need to find a way in. So, um, what happened after I left Meridian? Well, there was a fuss <laughs> when people realized you were gone. And some of us figured you only would have left if it were for something important. You were right about that. Down this way. Get to the grass. Never seen any of those before. Me neither. Still machines have it all worked. How do you want to handle it? The focus can help us. We can scan the machine before we make our move. Okay. Give it a second. Okay. See how parts of it are glowing? Those are its weak spots. It's I. It's a weak spot. Right. You said you've had a focus since you were a child, right? Yeah. Found my first one when I fell into a ruin. Got the others from an old cache not long ago. It's good to have extras. Where is this? I know they made some tech trades with Zero Dawn, but... Why would they have a backup of Gaia? Please register with reception for the tour. I guess they want us to check in with them. I should be able to pry this open. There's climbing gear. Guess someone dropped in from above. Whoever left this here might have also shot those machines we found earlier. So where are they now? Ugh, what's that stench? Entire camp. Wiped out. They must have come here to build for scrap. Acid. That explains the smell. Right through the camp. And then through the wall. I should take a look at the rubble in that gap. Whatever came through here brought this down as it went out. If I can dislodge some of the debris, we might be able to squeeze through. Maybe I can find something to help in the camp. Aloy, over here. I think I got something. 
It's some kind of Osram prototype, I think. This hook looks like it can latch onto things. And this gear pulls it back. Hmm. It looks broken, but maybe we can repair it. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. My focus picked up a couple of things to check out. Poor guy. That's a bird right through his armor. Part of a machine could help fix the gears. Machine cable. Stronger than rope. All right. Now to test it on the debris. There's an easy way out of here. I should scan the area. We have to find a way to keep going. Huh. What's this thing for? Whoa. Good morning. I'm Oswald Dalgard, and it is my pleasure to introduce you to Far Zenith. Forget what you think you know about us. Our truth is simple. We still reach for the stars, even if you have to cross 8.6 light years of space to get there. Please proceed into the auditorium, where we'll unveil our plans. Wonder what's Surprise. in this auditorium. I think I can use the podcast. This we'll find out. Shooting it is not working.
Okay, I gotta drop the ladder for Varl. Explorers, pioneers, trailblazers. And now Far Zenith is taking the next leap into the future. That's why we're proud to have resurrected the Odyssey. When our governments abandoned in orbit, Far Zenith will actualize in less than a decade. But that's only the beginning. When the ship is complete, we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's gone before. of our founder, the late Peter Chimbumbe. The truest form of immortality is data corrupt. The playback stopped. The old ones could fly through the sky? Between the stars? Uh, well, yes, sort of. That ship, the Odyssey, it, it never made it to the other star. Something went wrong, and it blew up. file corrupted. Member recruitment file available. Do you wish to reactivate? Yeah, reactivate. Let's see what else they had to say. We all know the projections. Economic instability, new biocontagions, rampant AIs. How long before another catastrophe creates unacceptable risk for the world's elite? We here at Far Zenith believe, escape the inevitable, and so we reach for the stars. Now you've seen what we're building here. Infrastructure to support the Odyssey's construction. A state-of-the-art data center to facilitate rapid technological advancements. And you've seen how we're managing public perception. So invest and join us. Claim your birth on the Odyssey. Preserve your way of life beyond the concerns of Earth. Well, they were right about the world ending. I just didn't know how... yet. So everything they said back there about the next step for humanity, it was all a lie. These people only cared about saving their own skin. Yeah, well, it didn't work out for them in the end. That Oswald guy mentioned a data center. There, the backup. These should be stored in there.
Keep your guard up. Up here. Oh my. <laughs> Careful. Don't want those things to call in some friends from underground. Okay. You take the left one. I'll deal with the one on the right. Okay. Mention, I noticed you have a new look these days. <laughs> yeah, I know. Didn't have a lot of time to shave when I was trying to catch up to you. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not permanent. Good. Sorry my whiskers offend you, anointed. Osram must have used explosives against the machines. They managed to get a couple. Looks like there was a barricade here. The machines must have broken through. I'll keep this for later. Guess that Osram didn't have a chance to use it. Careful. Traps ahead. Huh. Might be able to disarm them. There. Managed to salvage some supplies. And not blow yourself up. Looks like another camp. While we're here, maybe we can make some traps of our own. Might come in handy against machines. Good idea. I can use this. Okay. I should have what I need to craft a trap. Clear. 
Let's keep going then. but every place is different. storm picking up out there. Yeah. And they're getting stronger. And more frequent. So the storms, the blighted lands, the rivers and lakes choked with algae. You were born to fix all that? Yeah. I can only do it if I find that backup. I think we're winding our way around to the data center. We'll need to cut through that big building on the right. Mm. This data mentions the tech that Farzine has traded with Zero Dawn. Doesn't explain how they got it back up. I'll keep an eye out for more data. Looks like we've got to climb up. falling apart well it is a thousand years old <laughs> looks like some kind of meeting room Onzu. the zero dawn terraforming system the brainchild of dr elizabeth sobek Powered by nine subordinate functions, Gaia, the core of the system, is capable of advanced planetary engineering, an obvious advantage to our space colonization efforts. Operation Phase 1, establish an asset within Project Zero Dawn, status complete. Phase 2, the asset will secretly be cast a complete copy of Gaia and her subordinate functions to this facility's data center. If all goes well, Zero Dawn staff will completely unaware of the transmission. Risks. Discovery of this operation could result in Zero Dawn withholding the already negotiated Apollo database. Special care must be taken not to alert Travis Tate, the expert hacker in charge of Hades protocol. In addition, extreme caution must be exercised in regards to Dr. Sobek herself. As one of the world's preeminent technologists, she may have instituted unforeseen security measures. A complete assessment is attached. This concludes the executive summary. I thought Elizabeth sent the backup here, but she didn't. Far Zenith stole Gaia. Aloy, why does that woman look like you? Uh, um, it's okay, Paul. We look alike because... We're the exact same. Genetically identical. But she was one of the old ones. How can you be her? Because I wasn't born. I was made. By a machine. It's why I'm motherless, why I was cast out as an infant. I don't understand. What kind of machine can make a person? Remember when I said the backup? 
is like a set of instructions. It's more than that. It's called Gaia. And for a long time, she cared for the world until she had to destroy herself. So she made me to bring her back. I'm the only one who can. And this place is my last hope. You once said the goddess spoke to you when you went into All Mother Mountain. Was that this Gaia? Yes, but she's not the goddess, Oral. There isn't one. How can you be sure? It sounds like she anointed you with a sacred task. I've had a lot of time to figure this out. And you will too, with the focus. But for now, the report said they were going to store the stolen copy of Gaia in the data center. So that's where we have to go. Okay? Huh. Look at that. Aloy, over here. I found something you could use. Those Osram must have left us behind. A weapon. Thanks, Varl. We should keep moving. After you. Down here. I think we're almost back outside. Good. Look, that must be the machine. It's in the same direction we're going. Right. Those machines. I could try with that new weapon on it. The big machine must have attacked as they tried to escape. They didn't stand a chance. So, you said this backup is the last hope. Yeah. All those places I've been these last few months. There's supposed to be more backups. But a thousand years ago, a guy named Ted Farrell approached them. No. It was worse. We saw back in the auditorium. Machines, tore right through them. Machines patrolling ahead. We can tag them in the focus to keep track of
to tell me something. Sona was really okay with you not going back to the sacred lands? As the Nora war chief, she understood why I was obligated to follow you. But as my mother, she wasn't pleased. Is she ever pleased? I don't think I've seen her smile. Me neither. right through the wall. all those Osirim, we'll never get through to the data center. There's no way to slip past them. They're too tough to fight head on. We could find a settlement. Convince some hunters to help us. That would take weeks, and we don't have that kind of time. Maybe all we need is that shuttle to fall. That? How? We'll figure it out. Just wait here. Aloy! Trust me. Shuttle. If I can make it to that tower, I should be able to find a way across to the shuttle. myself off that grapple point. Didn't get up high enough. I'm gonna try this again.
catch the rail up there if I launch myself off the grab point. Clamps holding the shuttle in place. I'll bet there's a control console nearby. If I can release the clamps, the shuttle should fall right into the basin. Machines down below. to climb the tower to find a way to disconnect them. Now, how to get up the tower? Scanning with my focus could help here. If I pull that beam down, it might drop the access lift.
teaching us the hard way. I need to take this thing down to get to the data center. I should stand for weak spots. Data center should be straight ahead. I guess Farrell's gonna have to find another way there. here. Thank <laughs> you. 
With a mighty hand I smite and pour troubles upon you. This ain't no copy of guy you stole, you losers. But it's the mother of all logic bombs. So good luck repairing your data. And next time you start thinking you can outsmart a tape, remember my salute. Aloy? The goddess. There is no goddess. I told you that already. That's not Gaia. It's not what I'm looking for. It's nothing but a fake. sometimes, you know. But it was pretty amazing to see you fly off that tower and blow up the entire basin. The thing is, um, there's going to be more of that. I'm out of leads, Farl. But I, I have to keep searching. And fast. And whatever risks I have to take, I will. And it doesn't make sense to have someone with me. Someone who might get hurt. This is on me, Farl. Nobody else. Hold on. Before, in Meridian, you said there was a man who helped you. Silence. You said you used to talk to him a lot about things you discovered from the old world, things no one else understands. And he gave you the lance you used to defeat Hades. He's gone, Farl. I haven't heard from him since the battle against Hades. Sure. But Spymaster Murad back in Meridian, he's good at finding people, isn't he? Varl, I... <laughs> Come on, it might work. Plus, you'll get to see some friendly faces again. Okay. I... I guess it's worth a shot. We've got a long walk ahead. Actually... I've got a better idea. Aloy has an urgent matter to discuss. Dashane, that makes two of us. I've sent forth hunters for weeks. The sun fall all the way to the sacred land, searching for you. Something happened at the spire. Come. I'll show you. Watch your step. You saved us all to be sure, but, uh... We're still cleaning up the mess.
It happened right after the solstice. We were able to explain it away, thank the sun. Otherwise, it might have caused a panic. One night, for less than half a minute, it glowed an angry red. From Meridian, it looked like a trick of the light. But those who were closer, atop the light, said it could not have been a reflection. Much to my dismay, they said the light rose up from the tower's base. And that... We left everything just as it was. What do you think happened? I don't know. The Spire's supposed to send out signals, messages, the terraforming system. Yeah, but Hades tried to use it to wake up ancient war machines. I'm sure I got the connection to that thing. Wait here while I check it out. Let us know what you find. Something was transmitted from the top of the spire. I guess I have to find a way up there. Lift up your legs, not with your back! Maybe I can jump to that ledge behind me. Get up there now. I thought Silence was helping me when he gave me slants. Looks like he tricked me. He transmitted something through the spire. He's saving me. Why would he do that? Well, if I can figure out where he sent it, I can track him down. Hopefully the transmission out at the top will tell me. a jar. Can I go up through the inside?
Well, Aloy, I see you finally figured it out. To be honest, I'm surprised it took you so long to discover my rules. You raped the lands to steal Hades. How could you be so reckless? Reckless? You're the one who tried to purge Hades before its precious knowledge could be extracted. The mysterious signal that woke it, for example. But why don't take one of those guy backups you've been having such a hard time finding? If you knew, why didn't you just tell me? I've been having problems of my own these past six months, Eloy. The difference is, I've made progress. So once your anger at my entirely necessary deception has faded, now why don't you come out here and find me in the Forbidden West and learn all that I've discovered? Oh, I'll go find you. Well, the coordinates make it simple enough. Even for you. Forbidden West. And I have to follow. I see. That can be difficult. The West is called Forbidden for a reason. A tribe of ferocious warriors that controls much of it. The Tanakh. They allow no trespassers past its border. That said, under the Sun King of Ard, a fragile peace has been negotiated. And indeed, the next embassy will take place in a day or two on the edge of the frontier. Were you to attend the gathering under his auspices, the Tanakh might grant right of passage instead of hunting you and attacking on sight. Great, just what I need. More killers. The Sun King. Aloy, it's good to see you. You left in such haste. We never had a chance to properly thank you. Can, can we show the champion the spear now? Please? It's a man. Quiet. It's true. We bear gifts. Decorum usually calls for a ceremony of offering at the palace. But I thought you would prefer a less formal occasion. Bring them, please. A Avad, this is all very kind, but I... Uthit. it. Vinasha. Quick. Better hand them over before she runs off again. Try it on. It's beautiful. On behalf of all the... Citizens of the Sundom, may these tokens remind you of our eternal gratitude. Perhaps you'd like to spend more time with your friends. Come speak to me when you're ready to depart. I need to attach the Master Override to my new spear. Should be a workbench around here I can use. There. 
Master Override installed. Plus, something new to store and release energy. Uh, resonator. Should help in a fight. I'll never believe it all back home. Yep. <laughs> I'm having a good time, too. Uh, With it, Fanasha. Thanks for being here. Wouldn't miss it. Even if you did leave us hanging after the big battle. Vanasha, stop. She's here now, isn't she? For the moment. But I see that look on her face. She's got business to attend to. And it isn't in Meridian. You know, I didn't vanish before because I wanted to. I had- Little Huntress, please. You don't have to justify yourself to us. You saved our butts. If you've gotta go, go. With our blessing. Always. You both look like you're doing well. Mr. Shiny Pants here is now the Sun King's senior military advisor. That means people actually have to listen to him talk? May the sun bless their sorry souls. At least I say something of substance every once in a while. What was that? I just fell asleep while you were talking. And how about you, Vanasha? I've been looking after Nasadi and Edaman, two parts bodyguard, one part... Bad influence. Huh. I was gonna say nanny, but I like your version better. <sighs> well, I, I know. I know. They're out. Go! Away with you. Always an honor, champion. Always a pleasure. But please... Little Huntress, come back someday and tell us about your adventures. If I can't get in trouble, at least I can hear about yours. Almost ready to go? Hope to catch you soon! Are you ready to go? Or do you need a little more time? I better get going. And if I'm headed west, it sounds like I'll need rite of passage from the Tanakh, as you said. Where exactly is this embassy going to be held? Past the Dawns, the canyon that marks the western border of the Sundom. You'll find the fortress of Barren Light at its farthest edge. The embassy will take place just beyond its gates. It's a long march, a fortnight on foot. A couple of days hard riding should get us there. Actually, it might be better to rest here tonight. Head out in the morning. Of course. I'll arrange it. If 
Yes, I mean, usually, but not today. Uh, not yet. And why is that? The daunt. The whole valley. It's infested with machines. I can handle machines. Oh, I'm sure you can, but uh, I'm under strict orders not to operate until the whistle down at Chain Scrape sounds the all clear. Look, I didn't come all this way just to stand around and wait. I'll crank that car down myself if I have to. Well, but then... Who would crank it back up? Fine, fine. Though, should anyone ask, it might be best to say you forced me. I see smoke, but not a lot of activity. Smoke's probably coming from something the machines wrecked. As for the quiet, well, there's a work stoppage in effect because of all the fuss. What sort of machines are causing the trouble? Nasty ones. Lots of them. Bristlebacks, they're called. The strangeness is, they're not native to the dot. Just showed up, all of a sudden. No hunters to kill them? Oh, we've got hunters, just none that want to cross all of them. Boss of Chain Scrape. He is self-appointed. Work stop, which was his idea. Yeah, well, I'm just passing through. Got an embassy to attend. You should have said that ain't gonna happen no time soon. What are you talking about? Hear that? That's your answer. Who is that? Karja Sun Priest. Cranked him down yesterday, about an hour before the machine trouble started. He's a very important man, or so he says. That embassy at Baron Light, he's the one supposed to run it. Ha! Great. If you don't do as I say immediately, the Sun King himself shall hear of your insolence. Thanks to you, I was forced to spend the night shivering in the tent. Exposed to attack, I might have died. Oh, me you refuse to transport, but not this... This... What? This Nora girl? This savage? Besides Scallywag? What is? That's Aloy. Studious what is? Aloy? You know, savior of Meridian? Really? Well, that lessens the insult, I suppose. I came here for the Embassy of Baronlight. The way I hear it, so did you. Well, not with the valley infested. 
and so did Araman, proclaim the sun priests most precious and worthy of safekeeping. See, scripture. I shall head to barren light when the captain of the vanguard tells me the way is clear, and not a moment sooner. Fine. Captain's a friend of mine, you know? Where is Erend? Wouldn't mind speaking to someone a little more action, a little less scroll. Wadis. Studious Wadis. Studious Wadis sent Erend and another vanguard out at daybreak to clear the way. And so at daybreak. Hey! Shh. Down the valley then? Yeah, said they check the ruins on the left bank for tracks. Take it from there. Okay. I hear there's a work stoppage. Any way to upgrade my gear? I'll bet the Smith and Chain Scrape would let you use his workbench. As for the bristlebacks, you might want to craft some acid arrows. Hitting their canisters with those will take them down quick. Thanks. I'll find Aaron and I'll bring it back. Hey! Where do you think you're going? What? To the top of the ridge? To wait in safety. Sorry. Operators under strict orders. No passengers till the whistle blows, right? That's right. <laughs> Best start cranking. <laughs> Why? Why? Jorf, would you kindly escort Studious to James Grape and wait for me there? You got it. I will find Erend, and I will help clear a path. But after that, no more excuses. Baron Light. Embassy. Such be the will of the sun. It will be. Trust me. Good to hit chain scrape first and upgrade my bow. Must have torn through this camp. This guy would definitely lose his Come in, Savior. Welcome to Chainscrape, Savior. Open up, guys. Join Sailors. Good enough for me.
What are you doing here? Uh, about time there was something worth looking at in this dump. It's nice to see you too. And not a moment too soon. Come on. I... Damn brewery's the only thing I can count on in this place. Yeah, I heard. Machines, work stoppage. Oh, those are just the latest malfunctions. Chain scrape's always been a few tools short of a kit. And right there is the biggest tool of all. Not our front. The bristlebacks are everybody's And you've heard of him. Yeah. But he's a story best told over a cold beer. Uh, Petra, Petra. I'm just passing through. I'm headed west. Oh. There's an embassy at, at Baron Light I need to make happen, and then I keep moving. Ah, of course. Bigger gears to grind. Well, Flame Hair, good to see you. You've gotta move on. Petra. But if you want a cold beer and a few laughs with an old friend, come find me at the brewery. Your choice. This old one guy sounds like trouble. Maybe Petra could use some support. But first things first, I need to find that workbench and upgrade my bow. My hands are tied. The best I can do is let you use it. Why not? <laughs> This should be useful. Now I just need to find Erend and help him clear the bristlebacks. Don't let Petra hear you say that. She'll hammer your head out of your body. You know we're Young. on the same side here. Brothers. The bristle.
while if you kill these scroungers. It's always something. Hold tight! I'll see what I can do. Try luring them into the tripwires. Forge you showed up. Tripwire's handy, but Sheen Hunt's a youngin's game. Come on over. Let me give thanks proper like. See, you're a practiced hunter. Took you less time to kill those scroungers than vanguards to kill one bristleback. So the vanguards came through here? Yeah, just a bit ago. Down that bristleback, headed south. Then those scroungers showed up to carve the carcass, as they do. Then another bristleback ran through. I'm telling you, it's crazy around here. So the vanguard went south? Probably. This whole valley is swarming with them. The vanguard seemed dead set on getting rid of them. I see. Hold on there, Red. I'm gonna go chasing across the dawn. I'm gonna want a tripcaster. Not just any tripcaster. One of mine make. Free of charge. Workmanship looks solid enough. Yep. Been tweaking the design since I left Chain Scrape. More room to tinker out here and less chance of, well, accidents. Did something happen in Chain Scrape? <laughs> like someone. I don't follow. There's this sack of wet dirt. Olvind. He's the elderman of Chain Scrape. Gotta have the town treating him as such. Back when I had a place in town, he took a real interest in my wares. Kept pressing for the Olven discount. I said no. He didn't like that so much. I can't prove it, but that chuff bucket set my workshop on fire. Felt it best to put some distance between us after that. I should get going. Thanks for the trip, Caster. All your blasting bristlebacks. I think I'll head down to the hunting grounds. Did you know they have a trip caster trial? Come by later if you want to try it out. Maybe. After I get things under control. So Aaron headed south. I should be able to pick up his tracks with my focus. Trucks. For the errands and the vanguards. These prison bags are everywhere.
Sounds like someone's in a fight. on their backs. It should trigger a chain reaction if I hit them with acid arrows. You might, you might have to oh, meet me halfway here. Ah! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Caught me at my best, as usual. Well, you did the hard part. I just took care of the stragglers. How bad is it? Uh, this, uh, who needs ribs, huh? <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, I'm good, I'm good. Huh. Okay, well, I, I know you didn't come all the way to the Daunt just to watch me get wrecked. So what's the story? I need the embassy to happen. So I can head west. Errand, what I did at the Spire... What we did... It didn't end the threat. It just slowed it down. There's still more to do. Really? Well, that's great. I mean, yeah, not the threat's not over part. That's not so great. But, but hey, what, whatever you're up against, your spear, my hammer, just like old times. Aaron, I need the embassy now. I can't wait for you to heal. Couple of days rest, if that. Actually, even if you weren't hurt, what I have to do, it's... It's better if I do it alone. <laughs> now that figures. Aaron! I hate to interrupt the romance, but I'm pretty banged up here. I don't blow your blaze, I'm coming. Oh, this just keeps getting better. Huh. Listen, I'll go to Baron Light, get patched up. If you want this embassy to happen, we're gonna need this sun priest, Studius Wadis. Oh, I know him. 
I'll clear the Valley of Bristlebacks, then send Wadi east to Baron Light. I'll catch up with you there. Well, I guess that's sort of like a goodbye. I'm sorry? You? Sorry? <laughs> oh. Yeah, that'd be a first. Where is this coming from? Hey, just, you know, forget it, yeah. Oh, it's nothing. It sounds like something. All right, fine. Now, after the Battle of the Spire, you, you took off. You left without so much as a handshake. I mean, people like me, we fought and bled at your side, Aloy. You just, or you just disappear? What kind of person does that? What kind of person? How about someone who thinks saving the world is more important than whether your feelings get hurt? Saving the world? That's what I've been doing, Erend. What I'm still doing. So sorry if I've been in a hurry. Well, I guess when you put it like that... Oh, as usual, I shouldn't have said anything. Erend! By the forge! <laughs> I guess that's my cue. Maybe I should... Go with you to Baron Light. Uh, no, no. Hey, no, you're, you're needed elsewhere, obviously. Uh, we'll make it without you. That doesn't sound good. You'll have to handle that one on your own. We'll only you only slow you down. That's awesome I'm doing out here. Oh, that person back's charging right at them. Back to chain scrape before you get yourselves killed. Not with all this salvage lying about. Come on, crew. Back to There's the quarry Thurlis mentioned. Bring those ass chuckles! Gas in the scrap! One less machine. down. Oh, we tried to hold off and wait for the vanguard, but one of them bristlebacks charged us. Next thing you know was a full-fledged fracas. Is everyone okay? We lost some good people, but we would have lost the whole quarry without you. Well, at least it's quiet now. Your ears ought to be ringing with a quarry at work, but chain scrapes whistle ain't blowing, so we're stuck picking up the pieces. You need the whistle to get back to work? 
Me and my crew were just little cogs out here. Can't lift a hammer till Owen blows that thing. Because if we work without his say-so, he'll ban us. And my people have been through enough. Owen holds that much power? He's got the money and connections to snuff our fires for good. Almost feels like we stood a better chance with the bristlebacks. What are you and your crew working on? We're supposed to be working Olven's claim to get out stone to show our barren light. But the work stoppage and the bristlebacks cut us short. Never seen those blasted things in a thaw before. Where in Forge Fire did they come from? I'm not sure. At least, not yet. I need to get going. Stay safe. Thanks to you, that might actually be possible today. I think I've cleared out most of the bristlebacks. Valley should be safe enough to travel. I'll go give Wadis the good news. And maybe this embassy can finally happen. A shard for your thoughts, Nora. Huh. You think Petra would give fair warning of this? Shop looks closed. Yep. Can I still use the workbench? I ain't gonna stop you. The way to Baron Light is clear. Get moving. You're not Aaron Vanguardsman. I will move only when the captain when says. I've cleared out all the backs, which I have. Captain's worse. So they're okay. Banged up, but breathing. And waiting up ahead for you. Well, I shall not be moving anywhere until the whistle has sounded. If it is not safe for them, then it is not safe for me. Fine. I'll make sure the whistle gets blown, and then I'll be back. Hear that? We're not leaving yet. Unpack the cart! No. I'll be right back. Don't get comfortable. As if that were possible here. Petra mentioned Olvind is supposed to be in charge around here. 
Guess I should talk to him to get the whistle blown. What do you want, Albert? Some kind of payment? My dear magistrate, you think I can be bought? If you want that whistle blown, all you have to do is have your soldiers remove the bristlebacks and sign the concession decree. Face it, what other choice do you have? <clears throat> Hi. Savior, what auspicious timing. Might we discuss a matter of importance to the Sundom? We might. Later. Very well. I shall be waiting. So, the savior herself. Walloper of Durval, gutter of youth. Uh, maybe. I've heard many tales of your beauty and heroics, my fierce lady warrior. Olvent Friol, at your service. So, what could have dragged you away from the fine silks and wine of Meridian to this smudge of a settlement? Your saviorly attention must be needed elsewhere. I'm here for the embassy and- The embassy? Why, well, by the forge. Ah, greater gears for greater matters. Guess that means you'll be moving on. Once I've dealt with any problems around here that need my saviorly attention. Ah, the bristlebacks, of course. Got to get rid of them if you want that embassy to take place. Well, let's get to it, hey? And off you go. Not so fast. You don't seem to have a high opinion of the Magistrate. Well, I refuse to play nice to some fancy-robed parchment pusher when my fellow laborers are being bullied, intimidated, and taken advantage of. How noble of you. Noble, ha! Born with a hammer in hand, I was. Nobody handed me anything or dropped opportunity into my lap. Everything I've achieved, I've done on my own. And where is this hammer now? The uh, burden of leadership forced me to set it aside. The Karja risk nothing while demanding that good Osram gamble with their lives out there. Someone had to step up and say no more. I cleared out all the bristlebacks. Oh, you did? Now that you've recovered from your shock, time to blow the whistle. Over oh, there, not so fast. I'll have to send someone out to confirm the kills. Make sure the valley is safe again. It shouldn't take more than a day. Or two. No. You blow the whistle now. These are innocent Osram lives we're talking about here. Surely the delay. Either you do it now, or I will. Ah, I knew you could do it! Friends, gather round. The savior of Meridian has done now it again. What? The bristlebacks are defeated! You. What? Sound the whistle. Chain scrape is open for business! Yay. And Olvind has agreed to personally pay every worker their lost wages. Yeah! That's where I like it! Yeah! Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Yeah! Don't you have an embassy to get to? Yeah. I guess I do. Chain scrapes back to work. Merchants should be open to trade. I should see if they have anything useful before I send Wadis off to Baron Light. Better see what that Karja magistrate wanted. I bet it's in a tavern. Stealth.
You heard the whistle. Time to go. But, but I, I was supposed to have three escorts. I'm off to Baron Light Buddies. Like Aloy said, Captain's orders. You can stay here. Abandoned to the riffraff? I think not. Guess you're coming with me then. See you there, Aloy. If I can get through it, I'll be able to track down Silence. Hades. <sighs> Maybe even a guy at backup. I guess I could head straight for Baron Light. Or poke around the dance some more first. And maybe take Petra up on that drink. I could get around faster if I find a charger to override. I can override one of these chargers. I have to go on quiet.
Leave you in the dust. Sundown before the forbidden last. Huh, Karja Horn. Alright, I should find whoever's in charge here. First, I could resupply the stash. Maybe we're taking a look around too. charge around here? Ah, apologies, no. That would be Commander Nozar. I'm Lawan, the second in command. So, what brings Aloy of the Nora Baron Light? I'm here for the embassy. I need it to happen so I can head west. And maybe now that Studius Wadis is here, we can finally get things underway. But <laughs> yes, the Sun Priest. Walked in practically kicking and screaming behind his escort. Really seems to like his scrolls. But the embassy remains delayed. Commander Nozar has signaled our readiness, but the Tanakh Marshals have yet to sound their horn. All right, fine. Let me through the gates, then. I have my own business with them. I'm sure you do, but I'm afraid I can't. Commander's orders. Normally, the gates are open for any who dare to venture out. Asaram salvagers, a few especially brazen Karja, but no one's allowed in or out before an embassy. Now we're open. Once the Tanakh have left. So what happens at these embassies exactly? Mostly trade and negotiation. The Karja offer tribute of food, spices, and gear. In exchange. The Tanakh returned personal effects taken from Karja soldiers that fell during the Red Raids. This particular embassy, however, is a special case. Special how? The Tanakh are returning one of our own, a soldier by the name of Fashav. He's been their captive for five years. The exchange has got everyone on edge. You never know if an embassy's going to go well until it's practically over. Where is this Commander Nozar, then? If he's the one keeping the gates shut, I'll convince him to open them for me. I'll take you to him, but I have to warn you. The Commander isn't one to break protocol, especially when he's already high-strung. We'll see about that. This way. There's a lot of activity going on around here. The Tanakh tore down this place during the Red Raids. Two years of labor still have a long way to go. The work stoppage and change scrape nearly halted our rebuilding efforts. But I hear a certain Nora got them back to work. I was just helping out. Yes, well, I'm sure Alvin was thrilled. Stand aside, soldier. Sir? Commander, better brace yourself, and good luck. How are we to hold an embassy with a tribe that can't even govern their own people? What more can you expect from barbarians? <clears throat> ah, Aloy, was it? Yes, the one who cleared the valley for you? That you we appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness until the Tanakh sound their horn. We wait. Yea, for as the first shall be cut. Shut up. Why the delay? The Tanakh are a tribe composed of three clans. How many banners do you see? 
You're just gonna wait? Go find out what's wrong. <sighs> no, this isn't some forgotten corner of the East where you come from. It's the Forbidden West. If you don't like it, run back to Meridian. File a complaint. The Meridian I saved, you mean? That's right. Nobody walks to the gate until the third clan arrives and the Tanakh horn has sounded. Not even the savior of Meridian. Lucky for you, the savior of Meridian still has a few things she wants to take care of. Maybe I could check. Your impatience does not hasten the Tanakh, Nora. Only our annoyance. Thanks, but I've waited long enough. It's time to go. Absolutely not. This embassy depends on diligent adherence to. Something people Open try to stand in the way. It's not gonna work. Oh, that's it. Arrest her. I'd like to see you try. Supporting fire? Yeah, I'm locked and loaded. Hey, Nozar! You stupid bastard. You think you got the authority to keep that door shut in the savior of Meridian's face? What, what do you think Sun King of Vod is gonna do when he hears what you did? Promote you, huh? Let it through, boys. Saving the world. Forget something back in Meridian? Look, no. It doesn't matter. Politics. No more delays. That is the line between East and West. Cross it, die. Hold on now. Let's take it easy. None may walk this valley until our signal sounds. That was our accord with the Karja. I'm not Karja. I came here on my own to ask for rite of passage. But they opened the gate for you, did they not? What is the meaning of this violation? Why send a child? Do they want to parley or not? The Karja can't be trusted. This is no. Forget the Karja. This has nothing to do with them. I need to go west to save lives. Maybe even yours. The only lives you can save are your own. By turning back. Now. Hold! She's telling the truth about one thing. She's not Karja. She's a Nora from the Savage East. And if she seeks to save lives, should we not listen? Let me speak to her. One last favor for a fellow Nora. 
Marshall before he's taken away. A fearless, red-headed Nora. You must be the so-called savior of Meridian. Just Aloy. I am unyielding Fashav. Once of the Karja High Command, last of the Army of the Setting Sun. You'll have to forgive my comrades. Tensions are high. This embassy is a delicate affair. They're about to return me to the Sundom, a gesture that might help soothe painful grievances. I'm not here to cause trouble. I just need to go west. I might be able to help, but I need to know why. Along with some assurance that I won't regret it. You asked why I need rite of passage. I'll tell you, but you won't like my answer. Six months ago, the world almost ended in Meridian. That threat still exists. It's getting worse every day, much worse. Calling down storms, poisoning the water, enraging the machines. The source of it all has gone west, and I'm the only one who can stop it. I've seen the signs, and I've heard tales of incredible occurrences in Meridian, an army of demons vanquished by a red-haired champion. So I'm inclined to believe you. The burden of your task is written across your face clearer than any mark of mine. I'll grant you this, to serve as proof of your right to travel into Tanakh lands. A task so important, and it's just the two of you. Take it from one who aspires to be a diplomat. Allies are essential. Chief Akaro knows the West better than anyone. It can be intimidating to others, but don't let that deceive you. Maybe. If I need him. Your choice. You can find him at his palace, past the mountains to the southwest. Tell him I sent you, and he'll listen to- Look! Me. The Sky Clan's banner! Marshals, it wasn't easy, but I brought the Sky Clan with me. And the Commander? Uh, no. I could only convince a few. He isn't yet aware we left. We have banners from all three clans. If there are fewer from the Sky Clan, it can't be helped. He's right. Sound the horn. What's going on? Not all Tanakh can stomach the idea. But I'll be on my way. No. The other marshals will not permit it. You wanted safe passage, you have it. After the embassy. The Karja have opened the gates. over a land at war, so too can it set over a land at peace. Today is such a... Hear me, marshals! You who claim to be Tanakh! Regala, Chief Akaro's biggest mistake. A rival whom he should have killed. Forgotten that our people were born in blood. The blood of the Karja. Instead, you pledge your spears to a chief who conspires with the enemy. 
The Cairo has betrayed us! The embassy is proof! And all of you marshals are his accomplices! For this, I condemn you to death! You'll need more than toothless threats to intimidate us! Exile! Riding machines! Where'd they learn to do that? Silence. Bashav! Come with us now, or not at all! Archers! Light them up! What happened? Can you see? It's just us now. Hey! Come down and fight fair! Lancers! Take the center! Get ready!
for recall. Guess I'm stuck with Aaron for now. Come on, I'll take you back to the fort. It's salvage time, boys.
Aloy. We're still trying to sort out this mess. Seems like the Tanakh have a civil war in their hands. That sounds about right. The marshals weren't expecting Regala to attack. And the entire Karja delegation was slain. Nozar, Vladis, Peshav. A massacre. What will you do now? I have to head west. Hopefully this rite of passage is still good. For what I'm after, I'll cross all of Tanakh territory if I have to. Then you have a long road ahead of you. This is only the threshold of the Forbidden West. The Tanakh's true domain lies over the mountains that border Plainsong, home of the Utaru tribe. This isn't Tanakh's territory? All that out there? That's no man's land. It was supposed to be neutral ground, though obviously this Regala ignored that. Her rebels approached from the north with all those machines they were riding. They must have made camp up that way. The rebels were riding bristlebacks. And there were bristlebacks in the Daunt. Are you saying the rebels let them into the Daunt? How would that even be possible? I don't know. But it's worth looking into. While you're at it, there were a number of Karja and Asuram who went out there before the gates were shut for the embassy. Maybe you could check in on them. See if they're all right. I can keep an eye out. Is there a tall neck somewhere nearby? A tall neck? There's that one, over there, near the Utara border. But why... It's, uh... It's hard to explain. It'll help me get the lay of the land. If you say so. Is there anything else I can tell you before you go? Fashav called Regala a rival. Someone that Tanakh's chief should have killed. <laughs> yeah, I reckon he should have. She's obviously a huge threat. Her attack was coordinated and precise. Until you got in her way, that is. They knew the lay of the land. And they knew Fashav was going to be handed over at the embassy. If the Tanakh weren't expecting her, she must have spent months gathering an army in secret. They had to have made camp nearby. Somewhere they could lie low until the perfect moment to strike. I need to be on my way. Then I wish you luck. The gates will always be open to you should you wish to return. And don't worry about your friends. We'll get them matched up. Watch over you, Eloy. I hope you find what you're looking for. Forbidden West. A whole new frontier to explore. The coordinates from the spire should lead to silence in Hades. Just maybe. Back up with Gaia. It won't be easy out there. The blight, the storms, were God's machine riders. But I'll have to push the wall. Find a way to fix the world. Here comes the world. It's 
taking over the land out here, too. You can do that. Roof, come on. You know me. Have I ever given you anything less than perfection? silence would slink away to. What was he doing here?
Some kind of law must have been redacted. Looks like silence put a lot of work into forcing Hades to talk. Voice is blinking. I guess Silence wants me to check it out. Aloy, consider this message a beacon to help guide you out of the fog of ignorance. Using explosives, I've detached the processing orb from the Titan overhead, a perfect cage for our mutual friend, Hades, in order to render it cooperative. Tell her what we've discussed about the mysterious signal that gave you life. He's got it all figured out. Bastard. Because there's only one way to find out what he moved the orb. Uh, I should probably leave this alone for now. It's some kind of red crystal. Silence like a fool. After he tricked me by rigging his lance to steal Hades. A crazy AI that wants to kill everything. He couldn't just let me do the same thing and destroy it. And I'm gonna have to put up a self-righteous bull.
pretty confident he's found a backup of Gaia, but how? Every place I've checked, every lead, they've all been dead ends. All backups purged. So what did Hades tell him? use that machine to haul his prize. That must be the orb silence stuck Hades in. From the door. Looks like a feral facility. Enough. It's time to finish this. Does Aloy still think she can restore Gaia? Save life on Earth? Yeah, Aloy does.
What would you know, Hades? Twice you tried to destroy life on Earth, and twice you failed. The only extinction you ever brought about is your own. There's no tricked out plans to save you this time. Remember this? Yes, Data. The man that took no viable Maya spheres aborted is to five four two six one two one six eight. So that that's centuries ago. It's what you were designed to do. see you've dealt with Hades. Yeah. Think maybe you can stay dead this time? It will. You can trust. Trust? Yes. Trust. As in, since I did what you could never do, and extracted all of Hades' priceless knowledge, you can trust that I was willing to actually let you destroy it this time. So back to holograms instead of face-to-face? -face? What, afraid I'd stab you or something? There's a reason I'm I... I'm using the same spyware, I see. So, all those times I called, you could have just answered. But I guess you just prefer to go on spying all this time. My world stopped revolving around you months ago, Aloy. I've had work to do. Countless hours of research. As demanding and time-intensive as it has been critical to the fate of this planet. <laughs> right. Of course. You're just trying to save the world, too. That's right. The difference, of course, is that unlike you, I've produced results. Did you find a backup of Gaia or not? Oh, yes. I believe I did. Where? Voila. Why do you think I summoned you here? Behind that gene-locked hatch lie the ruins of the ancient facility where the Hades Extinction Protocol was perfected. A testing process that ran hundreds of trials, each of them using a backup of Gaia. Hades told you this? It took some convincing, but yes. So, are you ready to go get what you've been searching for for the last six months? Or are you just going to stand there with your mouth open? <sighs> All right. I'll search the facility for a Gaia backup. But just to be clear, Silence, if this ends up being another one of your tricks... It's a gene-locked hatch, Eloy. You're literally the only person who can open it. How could I set a trap inside? Trick me again, Silence, and our next conversation will be face to face. Though you won't have much to say, on account of my spear being buried in your throat. Eloy, thanks to me, Everything you desired, everything you've been fumbling about, unable to achieve for six months, is now within your grasp. Now, I know you didn't learn much about manners growing up a Nora outcast. But in a situation like this, you say, thank you, and I say, you're welcome. Are you kidding me? 
just think we're in luck. In luck? The door is completely messed up. Obviously. But despite the malfunction, you can still get through. If you'll be patient for a while longer. See those crystals there? The Osram call them Fire Gleam. They're combustible. Not nearly powerful enough to blast through a door like that. But maybe just enough to jolt it open a bit more. Exactly. It will only work with an igniter. I'm sending you the schematics now. To build it, you'll need some machine parts and the oil from a kindling plant. That only grows underwater, but you should be able to find some of the nearby lake. The parts are more complicated. You'll need a spark coil from within a leap lash's power cell. Remove the power cell before you kill the machine, or else it'll break. Got it. Well, I already have some deep water kindleweed. Just need to get the parts. for the igniter. Now I just need to build this thing. There's a workbench near the entrance to the facility. From your time tinkering with Hades? Tinkering? More like extracting a valuable digger. Should be able to use this to blow up that fire going now. Indeed. A useful combination. That's how I detached the processing orb from the horse in the first place. Great. I'd step back if I were you. I think I'm in. Then by all means, proceed. Now that I have this igniter, I could blow up that fire gleam that I've seen before. Focus on the task at hand, Eloy. <sighs> this whole place is flooded. And there's another gene lock door on the other side. But that's where any Gaia backups would have been stored. I have to find a way to get over there. This is familiar. Making my way through ancient crumbling ruins while you smile on me from my focus. Stop waxing nostalgic and concentrate on finding a backup.
Master might come in handy here. locked. But there's some kind of device next to it. It looks like this connects to the door, but it needs power. That did it. What's above me? this room for? Looks like there is another console that needs power. This console shut down. This looks like the same device from the other room. Maybe I can use the energy cell here. Here. 
Elizabeth and Travis Tate. But I just done gonna make you love me. I just imagine them far zenith rack scallions opening this fake guy we made for him. And I thought, what this really needs is a signature. This isn't a prank, Travis. I know, I know. All I did was just script a couple of avatars. A little you, a little me. To deliver our message of doom. Real personal act. Pearl up there that I should Would be able to pull it. As soon as it's done we'll compiling, have to higher to it. then you and me can celebrate. I brought party fixings, pizza rolls, absinthe, a couple of hacky sacks. Color me confounded, Liz. How is it that someone like you, Paragon? can latch on to that from here. more of the facility over there. I better take a look. <gasps> Going down! Turned out a lot of malware before Zero Dawn took over. There's another locked door. Looks like this is connected to the door. It needs a code to open.
Okay, so much for the... Like the power's off, except for that console. It's damp in here, too. I hope the water hasn't corroded anything I need. Genetic profile confirmed. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. Do you wish to activate Recluse Spider? I do. Activating. Okay, powering it up. That doesn't sound good. It appears to be unstable and very heavy. Be careful. Well, at least I've got power. And there's data here. Looks like this recluse spider thing is a testing apparatus for Gaia and Hades. I'd better take a look at that excess panel. Yes. Get to it. Okay. I think those circular pods are repositories. One loaded with Hades' backups, the other with Gaia. What are you waiting for? Hades is down, but the Gaia repository is stuck. So unstick it. I need to detach the cable from the arm's coupling. down. I should be able to access that pod. I've got one. Two, in fact. I was starting to get worried. Data footprint low. 90% memory free. That can't be right. Gaia was a vast super intelligence. He barely expected a shit. save the world on my own? Ah, uh, yes, well. About that. Alert! Intruders! Alert! Aloy, I need you to listen closely. These intruders want the same thing you do. Gaia reborn. It's why they're here. Friends of yours? No. They don't know me. 
The data Pulse I transmitted indicated that a Gaia backup could be recovered here was anonymous. Now they're very powerful, but they won't harm you. Not when they see who you are, what you are. A clone of Elizabeth Sobek, a genetic key with which they can reboot Gaia and rebuild the system. They need you. I warned you, Silence. For once, Eloy, submit to the inevitable. Open the hatch. First I rebuild Gaia, save life on Earth, then I track you down and end yours! I'm trying to help you here. Try spying on me with that. There. New focus, spyware free. Okay. Think. Think, I think. I don't care how powerful they are, the only thing that can open that hatch is me. Profile confirmed. Entrance authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobak. Please step inside. <laughs> originate here. Has someone... Something wrong? Shit! Spectres, beta! Well, any idea what the hell a clone of Elizabeth Sobek is doing here? Maybe Gaia made one, when it destroyed itself a Hail Mary to repair the system. Hmm. <laughs> don't like the sound of that. Nah, don't like it. Don't want it. But the if- Nope. One's enough trouble. Eric! Yeah? Care to do a little downsizing? Hmm. Sure. What if she sent the pulse? Then that was foolish of her. But we got what we came for. So let's put it to use. I snap a lot of necks in VR. But that certain tremor as life fades from the eyes. Ooh! Keep flapping your mouth. It makes a nice target. You actually think that primitive crap you got there can hurt me? This is pretty fun. Come on now, admit it. You may run. I'm not hurting him. I need a way out of here. <laughs> Maybe if I can bring the whole processor down. I gotta use that console to make it drop more.
tell you. This is fun! Oh! Reckon that thing ain't gonna help, girl. Come on. Come at me. Gotta cut the loose stem. This stem's got a few couplings holding it up. We need to cut them off. You want it dead. What the hell did you think? The platform collapsed. Body went with it. Right. Since when don't you get what you want, huh? Spectres. Search.
Elevator. Current's lead here. Promising. 